Wow, look at that, isn't that a thing of beauty? Um, right, it's getting cold in here tonight. Uh, the front mug guard is in process. So you can see that we started on that. But I'm waiting on my mate. My mate's bringing me around a bit of stainless steel tube. Uh, I need a bit of 10mm stainless steel tube. So you might have already watched that video by the time... Uh, or it might be the same video we're doing now, actually, to be perfectly honest. Maybe we'll do it at the same time. So the other thing, one of the other things we have to do was a number plate. And so we have to figure out where the number plate's going to go on this beastie. Okay, so we'll turn it around so we can see the back end of the bike and uh, we'll have a look. So here's the <coughs> rear view of the bike then. We're trying to fit this number plate and um, obviously naturally a lot of number plates set up here. Some people fit them down here on the track races. And I think on this one, we're going to go down here as well. This is the standard number plate, and we will go, I mean, to be fair, we will actually put a smaller number plate on it. Um, but we'll go with this for the time being. And I've been looking around, and I think here is okay. Uh, now I'm going to mount it to the swinging arm. So I've got to be careful, because the exhaust will stay still. This is going to go up and down, so this will go up and down with the suspension. So I've got to be careful we don't have it too close to the bottom of the exhaust, otherwise it's going to hit the exhaust. Bear in mind, we are going to go smaller than, than this number plate anyway. Okay, so in the first instance, I'm going to make a bracket up that will put a number plate around about in that position. And then we'll have a look, because if I drop it back further, I think that might be a bit too far back. Yeah, if I bring it back behind the exhaust, I think it will be too far back on the bike. I want to take it a little bit closer. So we'll run a much smaller number plate than we have here. Uh, but what I need is some kind of, uh, something that I can bolt this number plate to at the back of the bike there. Okay, that's what we're going to do, and I reckon what I'll do, I'm going to just build a bracket off of the, where this where this is bolting on. I'm just going to put a bracket off of there, so I use that bolt and that bolt just to make a tiny little plate there. Okay, I think it's just going to be a bit of cutting up a bit of metal, really, and, and a bit of welding, maybe. So I'll come back to you shortly. Right, okay, so we've just cut out the first two little bits. Just a thin sheet of steel, this one, so. First two little bits, and we'll just shape these up so they're the same shape. Okay, so we'll just do that in the, in the vise with the grinder. Okay. Right, so bent the first couple of brackets. So that one like so. And that one like so. If it's strong enough. Quite thin. Let's see, we'll cut another couple of bits up and we'll carry on with it. Oh, good evening then, it's uh, bonfires night tonight, fireworks going everywhere, dog scared and in the garage. Um, but where are we? Yeah, mudguard, yeah this video was meant to be about the mudguard but we kind of ignored that for a while and we were looking at the number plate weren't we I think last time. I think this video might be a, a, a mix between the two. i.e. a mix between the number plate and the mudguard. That would probably be the best bet, wouldn't it? So, we decided at some point or other to go with our... Oh, I'll wait one moment. Let's have a look. Let's 
How's that? Enough? I think so. Right, we decided we were going to go uh, here with the number plate. And we bought, or I bought, a little black one, which I think will look quite nice down there. Uh, now, as you know, well, if you're in the UK, you'll know that it's not really age appropriate, this. This is for a, a bike that's 10 years older. But, you know what? We'll go with it, and we'll just hope that anybody we comes across, uh, either law enforcement-wise, uh, either doesn't realise or are very friendly, which they can be, in my experience in the past. So we'll go with the black one, and we'll see. But we're going to fit it down there. Uh, I started making some brackets, like last time we spoke. I was making up these brackets. And I'm back out here again now, and I'm just going to continue on with the brackets. Okay, so that's the, uh, that's where we are. I've just got to shape them a little bit and, and weld a couple of little bits together and then I'll show you what I've made. Okay, bear with me. Okay, right, good, job done. No one to tick off the list. So here's our little bracket. Now I think it'll be okay. So all we've done, uh, just two little, uh, it's very, very thin. There's just a little bit of tin, really. Uh, but there's no weight to it, is there? It's not got, got any weight. Um, so two brackets coming up, and they'll bolt onto the rear suspension bolt there. And then just welded in a little piece down here, which will fix onto the pinch bolt on the rear spindle. And then we just got this tiny little plate here. I'll just put a little bit of double-sided tape on there for now. But what I'll do, got the nuts and bolts. Uh, so let's have a look. If I just stick it on there, I, I will nut and bolt it, I think. Ooh, very low. There we go. And it will sit around about there, I think. Well, good afternoon. Uh, this is about a month after the... Um, that last little bit of video was done and uh, I'm only doing it because the other video cut off so this I stuck that on with a little bit of double-sided tape on there it's gone on there like I mean I've super glued it on there I can't get it off without bending it uh, but we'll worry about that when we when we take it apart and put it back together again which is fine uh, so that's done the front mud guard I'm going to show you it from here so you can't actually see it properly is actually done as well so that's sorted on the thing um, but I can't show you that video at the moment because I'm waiting for one of my mates to give me a couple of minute video that we're going to add to that video. This will make sense when you see it. Um, so yeah, number plate is done. Uh, we're actually getting places with this thing. Uh, we've gone back to our list. Where are we now then? We are... Oh, I can't tell you. I can't tell you what we're going to do next. You'll have to wait for the next video. So give me a little while and it'll be on. It's done. I'm just waiting for someone to come back to me. Okay. Good. Speak to you soon.